Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. This particular video has been filmed in portrait because the engine is that tall and it fits better that round. So what have we done since the last video? I have the barrel and the sleeve fitted. The sleeve is engaged with the sleeve drive crank, which is this here. There's a pin on the other side of it and all of the gear assembly is in place. So when I move the sleeve on the other side by hand, you can see that this, the whole mechanism is moving there. It's usually the other way around. The crankshaft provides the power that pulls the chain that drives the sleeve. So the sleeve is being driven by the crank. So what's happening on the other side? Well, around here, smooth pan mark, really good, cool. Uh, what's happening around here is you can see that the sleeve goes up and down and also rotates because it's on a crank. Uh, and that opens and closes the valves on the engine. So uh, it's quite an, quite an important thing. And the reason to do this now, rather than wait for final assemblies, we can check for clearance. And I'm not quite sure you can see this, but we don't have quite clearance at that point there. So this, this part of the sleeve is just contacting this part of the engine case. And it's the same on the other side as well. Is just contacting, you'll probably see that a bit better, just contacting there. So I can't get a full 360 of this. It means it all comes apart. This goes back in the bridge port and this here is just bored out ever so slightly bigger. I won't take the bore all the way to the bottom. I only need to take it down to pr probably about there. That, that will be sufficient and just bore it out um, so it comes back level with with the throat here. That should be plenty, but that, that's the kind of thing that we do. I could have done that to start with, but what I didn't want to do was to, to make it overly weak. So um, to start with, I was conservative, and that's why we check all the clearances. While I've got this together though, it's a good, a good way of uh, showing how it works, or partly how it works. So if I move the engine against the direction rotation, which will be that way, remember this is the, the chain that's been pulled by the crank. And, and you can see that at the moment, the exhaust ports are just closing. So there are one, two exhaust ports on the cylinder. And around the other side, we have one, two, three inlet ports. So there's that band around there with the carburetor on that I made the adapter for in the previous um, video. These are completely shut at the moment. By the sleeve you can see the seat sleeve is obscuring those ports and we're just at the end of the exhaust stroke so the two exhaust valves that one there and that one there are just closing and as i rotate the sleeve slightly you can see there's the exhaust valve and there's the other exhaust valve and those valves are just closing there so the piston is coming to the bottom of the stroke, the exhaust valve is just closing, the pair of them, and as exhaust valves closing, you can see on this side, just a bit of daylight, the inlet ports are just starting to open. And then as the piston comes, sorry, piston's at the top, isn't it, not the bottom, my bad. <laughs> piston's at, at the top dead centre, uh, at the end of the ex exhaust stroke, and then here, the inlet valves are opening and the piston starts to descend again. So as the piston descends, the sleeve is ascending. They don't always run in sync and other parts of the, the stroke, they, they are in sync, which makes it quite a challenge to balance. You can see there, one, two, three open inlet ports. They open a lot wider than that, but I can't rotate the sleeve any further. So hopefully that's a whistle stop tour of, of sort of how the valves work. I'll do a better video when everything's able to rotate and when the piston's in the bottom as well. Um, you, you'll have a better idea. The next job, once I've got that sleeve clear, is to fit the whole um, conrod and big end assembly in here and just check that at the extremities, the conrod clears this part of the case here and this part of the case here. Um, and if it doesn't, there might be a bit of machinery required on both sides of the crankcase for that as well. So that's what we're doing. That's what we've done. Uh, thanks for watching. As ever, more updates to follow.